Yeah, man, I just got my snacks and everything. Just got my Grand Theft Auto installed. Just got back, it should be done. What? Are you like me and just waited a long 18 hours to download Grand Theft Auto 5 digitally? Are you like me and was pumped up and excited to play it after waiting that long download? Are you like me and around 14% of installing you got an error message saying that the data was corrupted and that your best bet was to reinstall it? Because that's what happened to me, and I'm sure if you're watching this video, it happened to you too. So I woke up yesterday morning after downloading Grand Theft Auto 5. I started installing it, it got around 14%, and then I got an error message saying that the data was corrupted. Okay, um, maybe I should just try to install it again, and maybe it was just an error. Corrupted. Maybe you even downloaded it twice, or even more than twice, and you got a message saying corrupted, and I'm sure you have barely got any to no s support from tech support, and I'm sure if you wanted a refund, you weren't going to get it. But lucky for you, maybe I have a solution to your problem. This worked for me, I can't guarantee that this is going to work for you, but I know that it helped me out, and I got it working after the second time of downloading it. So what you're going to need to do for this is you're going to go ahead and need to have your PS3 turned off, and all of your corrupted data, your downloaded game deleted, you're going to have to download Grand Theft Auto again. So let's get into this little solution. Again guys, I'm really sorry that you have to go through this like I did. This is unacceptable from any company, both Rockstar and Sony. And I've always been a supporter of Sony products since I was just a kid playing the PlayStation 1. I love Sony products, but this is unacceptable from anyone. And it's really crappy of them that they're not really doing much to help out. I mean, maybe they're working it out, but I mean, no refunds or anything. That's not very supportive of a company to me. But hopefully this fix will work for you, and if it doesn't, I'm sorry. But this worked for me after the first try doing this little fix that worked for me. So let's get straight into it. You should have your Grand Theft Auto 5 deleted, and if you have any corrupted files from trying to install, you're going to want to just delete all those too. So you may not be able to really see much, but first thing you're going to want to do is have your files deleted, and go ahead and turn your PS3 off. It's dark, so you're not going to see much, but you don't you don't really need to. I'm um, going to have my screen in the corner somewhere. But, um, okay, now that your PS3 is off, you're going to want to hold the button down, and you're going to want to listen out for three beeps. And you're going to do this twice. So, after th we're basically just booting this up into safe mode. And it'll you'll see the menu of options. But we'll get into that in a minute. Three beeps. There's the first one. You can see the power button right here. Second beep. Enter the third beep, it'll shut off. Okay. It shut off, and we're going to do the same thing again. And after this, it'll boot into safe mode. You're going to want to have, also, you're going to want to have a USB cord at the ready to plug your PS3 controller into the PS3. If you don't have one of those, you better go rob your neighbor or something, because you're out of luck, I think, if you don't have this. Not a big deal though. I mean, those are so common now, I think everybody has USB cords. Okay, so the safe mode should be booting up now. I'll connect the controller using a USB cable. So, got my controller set up. Got the USB cable in, push the PS button. Okay, now that we're at the menu, you're gonna wanna select the third, yeah. You're gonna wanna select the third option that says restore file system. I don't think this really changes much in your PS3. The main thing I noticed that it changed my aspect ratio from 16.9 to 4.3. Ooh, big deal. Anyways, you're going to want to select that third option, restore file system. Are you sure that you want to restore the file system on the system storage? Um, yes. Push X. Preparing, please wait. And this is just going to do a quick little boot around, and it's going to restore your file system. Now what that exactly means, I'm not going to get into technical terms. But basically, I think it just gets rid of any corrupted data you may have sitting around on your PS3. And I this worked for me, so this file system on the system storage is corrupted and will be restored. Push X to reboot. Oh, push the PS button, then push X. Okay. Um, I had never done this on my PS3 before until I started reading up on some forums about this fix. And that's how I figured this out. So, thank you to whoever posted that on the forums, because it's been going around on the PlayStation forums, but I had to dig through a little bit to figure this out. I noticed it's like the same menu that's on the Vita, so I thought that was pretty cool. 
pretty easy little system to work around. Um, but um, yeah, so we're just going to wait for this to go through. Okay, now that the file restore should be done, it'll be rebooting your PS3. Um, and after, after this reboots, you should just be able to go and download your Grand Theft Auto, and it should work. This worked for me, and I hope it works for you. Um, my recommendations is keeping your fingers crossed and you're putting your dongle on your PlayStation because uh, all hope to you because I hope it works just like it did for me. Um, it's a great game. So, as you can see, this is after installing it. Just going to go ahead and click this, make sure I'm not screwing around, and it loads straight up. Well, not straight up because it's got to load, but... Um, that's how it worked for me. I restored my file system, downloaded my game, no problem. Um, so I hope this works for you. Um, if this worked for you, like it. Liking it. If this worked for you, share your support, like it. Um, share this around on forums. Share it around with any friends that may be having this download issue because uh, I just want this to get spread around. It's an easy fix if this works for other people. and. Everybody deserves to play the game they paid for, so I hope this works, um, and enjoy your game.